Good morning, Kate. Oh, I can't even say good morning without getting it wrong. Good morning, guys. Today, I wanted to talk to you about, since I reached 40, going back a couple of years ago, my blood pressure started rising. And it got to the stage where my uh, doctor was talking of putting me on medication, uh, which, you know, you, you, got, you only got your doctor's really advice to go by. And so he never really spoke much about my diet. He never really asked a lot of different, you know, he never really gave me any advice on what, what to eat to try and reduce this. The only thing the doctors, which I saw, would talk about was put me on medication. And I don't know about you, but I, I hate the thought of being on medication for the rest of my life. So just before we went to Florida last year, I went to the doctors and he said to me that we really need to consider blood pressure tablets or medication if my blood pressure don't come down. And I always remember going back when I was a child, I used to eat a lot of shredded wheat and they always said that it was good for your heart. So I read, read a little more into shredded wheat and it turns out that there was people saying that it can lower your blood pressure. So just before we went to Florida last year, I kind of went on a bit of a diet where I would have a few lagers through the week. I was having less, just watching what I eat really. So my blood pressure came down and I thought that was great. So I went on holiday, my blood pressure was more or less normal. So when I came back from holiday, I kind of just forgot about having cereals in the morning. So Christmas came and Christmas went. Now on my birthday, I don't know what it was, but we were passing the doctors and the doctor's got a machine there that you can test your blood pressure. And I, I, remember, I, I remember saying to Mrs. D, I'm just going to pop in there and check it. This was on the 14th of January, which is my birthday. And I turned 40, how old am I? I turned 48, guys. So this is what my blood pressure showed. It showed 146 over 95. Now I'll put a chart by here somewhere. I'm not really sure. There's a chart by here somewhere. And that'll show you. It's not particularly high, but because I managed to get my blood pressure down, it was just creeping back up. So I thought with me changing my diet the last time and eating shredded wheat, I thought what I'd do is over a period of one week, just seven days, just eat cereal every single day, shredded wheat, these. So it's not even shredded wheat, like shredded wheat that you know. These are from Lidl's. These are just the cheapest ones I could find. So I've eaten these every single morning for seven days. That's all the only, it's not a particularly big bowl, just a, a normal average size bowl of cereal. And that's what I've been having every day with a bit of sugar on because they taste disgusting without sugar. And what I thought was is not change my diet at all. Just keep going exactly as I have been over the last few months. But the only difference would be I'll eat cereal every morning. So I've not dieted, I've not cut back on anything at all. All I have done is eat these bite-sized wheat shreds, and that is it. And, and I had a shock, guys. So it's now just over a week, but I went back on the 21st of January. The date is actually on there, 21st of January. And now the blood pressure is 130 over 82. Now that has brought my blood pressure from not particularly high, but high, down to the normal range just by eating shredded wheat every single morning. The reason I'm making this video is because I'd never really had any advice from the doctor of what I could do to reduce my blood pressure. Who'd have thought that maybe, I, I don't know, maybe a dietitian would have been involved or a leaflet on healthy eating or things that you can eat to lower your blood pressure, but nothing like that. All they seemed interested in was getting me on medication. Now from my mother's side of the family, blood pressure has always been an issue. Now, I don't know whether saying that I inherited my blood pressure is the right thing. Maybe I just inherited a certain diet that creates blood pressure. You know, I, I, I don't really know. So, but I've had uncles that have died of strokes and heart attacks all through blood pressure problems. And my mother herself is actually on medication at the moment for blood pressure. So it's right through my family. But to see the difference that eating these wheat shreds have made to my blood pressure over one week without changing anything else in my diet is absolutely incredible. I've gone from having a high blood pressure to a normal blood pressure, just literally by spending seven days 
of eating these only once a day, guys. I'm not replacing my meals with them. I'm literally eating this as well. So I'll have these shredded wheats in the morning. And if I have a bacon sandwich at 11 o'clock, you know, and, and my normal tea, I have not changed anything about my diet at all. All I've done is add this to my diet. Literally, honestly, promise you. And that is the difference it's made. Now, I wanted to make this video because everybody knows the blood pressure left untreated will kill you. You will, you will die. You'll have a heart attack, you'll have a stroke, or both. And I felt the doctors just wanted to give me medication. And I'm just absolutely dumbfounded by this because I know it reduced my blood pressure before we went on holiday. Brilliant. It went from particularly high. I wish I had I wish I could show you how high it was, but I, I really don't I don't really I don't really know. But I know the doctor was like, you really need to bring this blood pressure down. You you are creeping up to the you know the level you don't want to be where you're gonna start having problems. So like I said, I brought my blood pressure down before, but back then I changed my diet. This time, just literally over seven days, guys. The, the dates are on there. Honestly, there's no I'm not trying to like trick you or anything, I'm not being sponsored by these people, Crownfield, whoever it is, or Lidl's that supply them to me. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just wanted you to know because I genuinely think that if everybody knew this, it would save lives. And I was not given that advice by the doctor. Seven days, guys, give it a try. If you suffer with your blood pressure in any shape or form, seven days, try these for seven days. We'll call it the seven day challenge. Seven days of eating, bite size, wheat shreds. I don't think it matters whether they're bite size. I just find the bite size easier to eat. Don't really matter where you get them from. These are from Lidl's. You can get them from Asda's, but they're twice the price if you were to buy the, what, what's the name of the ones? I think it's Nestle. Now you don't need to buy the Nestle shredded wheat. You do not need to buy them. These are exactly the same. Basically there's nothing in them apart from wheat. It doesn't matter. I, I personally, Bit of sugar on them, about a spoonful of sugar sprinkled over the top, and a bit of milk, and that is it. And it brought my blood pressure down, guys. I'm going to keep an eye on this even further. I'm going to keep, obviously, I'm going to keep doing this because this is going to stop me needing to go on medication for blood pressure. So I'd be a fool not to have them every day. But these ones, how much are these, babes? A box. These ones here, one pound twenty nine for the box. Um, it's not a particularly big box. About five days that box would last me eating them every morning. If you suffer with blood pressure, particularly if you're not already on medication, give these a try. I Honestly, seven days, that's all it took me to get from high blood pressure to a normal blood pressure. Seven days. Obviously, it depends how high your blood pressure is of how long it'll take for it to come down. But every day I've had these, my blood pressure has come down. I wanted to share that with you. I know this is not our usual. Is that a usual for our channel? We do all sorts, don't we? But anyway, I wanted to share that with you because I really do feel that it could save lives. It could save your life. If you start suffering with blood pressure, boom, shredded wheat or a cheaper alternative. Like I say, I just wanted to share that with you because I, I found it absolutely fascinating. It, it was so much so that Every time I was taking the blood pressure, I, th I was thinking, it can't, it can't be, can it? You know, just what, eating one thing can bring your blood pressure down. That just don't make sense. But it does. It worked. Seven days. I'm going to continue this. So, guys, if you want to know um, how it goes on in the future, subscribe to the channel because I will mention it in the, in the future. Um, but, yeah, that's it. Save your life with wheat shreds. Thanks for joining me. Don't get lost or squashed. And we speak more soon. Bye.